Anyone who knows me knows that I love to entertain, from intimate cocktails to lavish dinner parties. But the one thing that most people don't know about me is that I used to work in the service industry for over 20 years as a waiter and a bartender. I've even loved bar culture so much that I invested in a bar in downtown LA called The Wolves. Come by sometimes when we're out of quarantine. I'll be there, possibly make some cocktails for you. And let me tell you, the one thing I'm missing the most right now is brunch. I mean, who doesn't love brunch? An afternoon, having a delicious cocktail, you know, having some wonderful conversation and decadent food. That's what I missed. So I decided to invite a couple friends to brunch. Um, I sent them a cocktail to make so we can make it together. I told them to make something delicious and bring it to brunch and get to know somebody new. And I'm also inviting you. So I hope that you will join me at Bottomless Brunch at Coleman's. Look who's joining us for brunch today. We have the incomparable Nisi Nash and the ever so effervescent Mo Collins. <laughs> you, you guys look amazing. How you holding up? Doing, doing great, thanks. Yeah, how about you, friends? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm doing good. Today yeah. was the first day I got really dressed, and I see you guys got really dressed too because, you know, it's brunch time. Because yeah. we dressed for brunch, <laughs> darling. Well, brunch is always a good way to get the day started, so I want to know, what did you make? Arugula salad with some uh, multi-grain toast. Oh. oh, so you just going the healthy route. Is that what you're saying? No, I just made what I... No, I prepared what I had. <laughs> Because if I had something meaty, cheesy, and greasy, I would have made that, but I didn't have it. And what about you, Mo? Well, the way it works around here, I'm not a cook. It goes like this. I say, hey, baby, is the diner open? And he says, yes, baby. And he says, baby, what do you want? <laughs> and I said, I want Mexican today for brunch. And so here it is. Oh. My beautiful Mexican plate. I, there's fresh cilantro I'm smelling because we do it right here in the pandemic. I got fresh avocado, salsa and a nice uh, omelet. Oh, beautiful. I think there might be spinach in there. Oh, that's beautiful. For Mama's I iron. I need to come over there and have you put a plate for we me on the We need to both porch. talk to Baby and I, tell Baby, could you please <laughs> order us the same thing? Baby, Baby's getting now me I through know, this. I want to know, is it a real and, uh, Baby or is it, you know, a, 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 a someone that you oh, yeah. call Baby? Like, is there a Baby, like a, Actually, a two-year-old or a toddler that yeah. you asked to do this for you? He's all ages and great. Uh, it's it's my husband Alex, Beautiful. and um, yeah, he's very good to me oh, that way. Oh, sweet. Well, I, I made um, today. I decided to make Italian baked eggs, and I'll show you. They just came out of the oven, and I, let's see if I can show you that. Look at that, and the ramekin. Have you guys ever made that? Ooh. It's ooh. it's like an Italian pie in a way. It's like olive oil, egg, pancetta, uh, some cheese. I put a little avocado and um, some basil. Should we make a cocktail too? Because I think we need a cocktail with brunch. Let's do it. As you know, I sent, I sent you this. a cocktail because, you know, I'm very generous that way. Is this is this supposed to get me through the day? What, oh wait, you made the whole <laughs> bottle? Wait, the whole bottle is supposed to get you through. Just wondering. Hopefully it can get you through the entire pandemic. Yeah. But, but drink in moderation, everything in moderation, everybody. So let's do something that I think is always a staple in our house, which is an old fashioned, all right? So today we're doing bullet rye. Right? Okay. And yeah. we have some sugar. Wait, hold on, wait. I'm gonna make sure yeah, you have everything sugar. you need. Do you have your bitters? Do you have an orange? Do you have an orange? Yeah, do we have bitters in it? Boom. Okay, I want you to grab a rocks glass. I have a jar. That's the closest I could a get jar? to a glass that like a jar? we need. I think that's perfect. That, that works out well. It's a jar, but that's that's the white trash you, you in me what? coming we're out. You're gonna make a white trash old fashioned. I, I look for all of that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Dig it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add, you're gonna drop your sugar. So I'm gonna do that. I have my simple syrup here. Cool. Okay. And then you're going to add three dashes of your bitters. Grab your bitters. What's a dash? dash. <laughs> this is a dash. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. Just pop it in there. Just go pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Here we go. go. Now, I want you to grab a large ice cube. Do you have a large ice cube or just regular ice cubes? Do you have like, or a block? I got one in here already. I came prepared. This is the traditional way to make it. The way I also make it is this, and I'll just change it up, but you can stay with me. I will cut my orange and give a slice. 
I will put it at the bottom of this baby with that with the sugar in there and I will muddle that orange, okay? So you can do that if you like. Okay, put my rocks cube in here, look at that beautiful, clean hands, hands have been cleaned. Then we're gonna get two ounces of your Mighty Mighty Bullet Rye. Ooh, it smells good. It's, get, it's getting there, it's gonna be even better, okay? How much of this do we How put much, in what, there? Alcohol? You want to put two ounces. So basically, if you do, you, do you have a? What do you have there? Do you have a tool? No, I have, you eyes. have eyes. Well, if you have eyes, you want to do a count of four. Well, I feel like I only did three, so let me. <laughs> well, you know, it's brunch, so you can do as much as you want. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and then you're going to take your spoon and stir. Now, a lot of a wonderful way of bar, you'll just keep it a little loose in your fingers, but you don't want to. Dissolve the ice. Ooh, can we? Can I taste well, my? We need to make a special toast. This is a toast for good friends, to health and happiness, and everyone out there, especially the frontline workers, doctors, healthcare workers, yes. and everyone battling through all this. All right. Yes. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers to your health. By the way, everybody, you can also, if you want the recipe, it's on amc.com/backslash/brunch. That's good, y'all. I want to get to know you guys a little bit better, okay? And I want you guys to get to know each other. So feel free to pipe in. If I ask a question, feel free to pipe in. Mom, but how'd you go from Minnesota to being on television shows like Mad TV? Well, you know, I started uh, doing Dudley Riggs improv sketch theater up in Minnesota, Minneapolis, and that's that's where the checks started coming in, right? And so it's like, oh, okay, it's still Wait, going. Were you, were, you a funny kid? were you a funny kid? Did you just knew that? Did you had an impulse that you were like? No, I wouldn't say I was uh, funny. I would say I had a good wit, but I was, I was, oh, I was painfully shy. What about you, Nisi? I feel like without a doubt, if I don't know anything else about myself, I know I'm funny. Mm -hmm. And I know that for me, funny was innate. It wasn't something that I could learn in a class. I've been funny since the day I came in the world. However, I did not know that comedy was a gift. Hmm. Yeah. I, 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 because it was something that I always got punished for. Like I got pinched in church for yeah. telling <laughs> jokes or put on punishment because my report card said talks too much. And my mother was like, well, what were you in there talking about? And I'm like, I was telling you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, ma'am. But, but hold on one second, but let me tell you something. The thing that I've gotten to know about the two of you is that you're both uh, two of the funniest people that I know. And you're actually, you have great capacity to be such great dramatic actresses. Cause you're like, like actors that I, I feel like that I've admired, like let's say Gilda Radner who well, I thought like, you've got to know sort of like the tragic core of a character, right? To be funny. You know what they say. They say that people who can make you laugh can make Absolutely. you cry. And to be honest, uh, you know, I look at what was going on. If I had not been gifted Fear the Walking Dead and given that opportunity, and let's be clear, Sarah, my character, came in via comedy. Yeah. You know, she was based on Gina from 40 Year Old Virgin. So I got this because of my comedy, which I just absolutely love. I feel like I was in a scene with you, one of your early scenes where you had a dramatic scene when we were on top of that fire hydrant and that dude Jimbo was gonna jump or something. Oh yeah. And I feel like I was witnessing, watching yes. you actually take the reins of that. I felt like I firsthand was able to watch uh, the dramatic actress, so uh, kudos to that. Thanks, Coleman. It, it helps me to hear from people like yourself that I'm on the right path. I, I want to, um, to mention to people back at home that you can watch Nisi on Reno 911 on Quibi, which premieres on May 4th, because they're back and I'm dying for them. Dying! <laughs> I love it. And you know what? I take sole credit for the reason why we're back, and I don't care. What Go, ahead. Go ahead. Go uh, ahead. Take it. Take it. Come on. I take the credit because I would email the cast three times a year and be like, hey guys, hey everybody, let's get back at it. And I feel like I kept putting it in the universe. So when it finally, we finally found a tiny window, I was like, you're welcome. Because we, we need, to we laugh need right a now. break. 
Yeah, I'm happy that Reno could come back like an old friend. Back like we That's never That's exactly left. what we need right now. I feel like, especially right now, we want things to bring us comfort. I want to ask you both this question. Um, first, Nacy, who were your heroes growing up? The woman who inspired me to be in television uh, was Lola Falana. I saw her on oh television. Oh my God. I love Lola Falana. <laughs> She was the epitome of beauty. I love Lola Falana. Yeah. Oh. Listen, I saw her on television when I was five years old and my eyes crossed. And I said, Grandmama, who is that? She said, baby, that's Lola Falana. And in that moment, God stamped on the canvas of my imagination, my destiny. I look at my grandmother and I say, I want to be that. I want to be black, fabulous, and on TV. <laughs> wow. Wait, now, Mo, you, you told me something that Nisi said something to you years ago that had a profound effect on you. What was the nurse show you did? Oh, it was called Getting On on, on HBO. Getting On. So um, there was th the audition for that that day. I almost didn't go just because I really was having a bad sick day. And this was back when, you know, I was really undergoing cancer treatment stuff. And um, and I, I probably shouldn't have gone based on how I was feeling. But you know, the, the part that I was reading for called for like very plain, like no, just tight bun, you know, not attractive. And I was having a real, real hard health day and not feeling good. And we were outside in 104, sitting and waiting for an hour. Yeah. And I think you sensed that I wasn't doing so well or having a tough time. And you just, you reached right in and you just said all the right stuff, I will forever, remember that that moment because that was just such a such a day of grace if you will and then I got the note from my manager Mo Collins has lost her beauty and I thought oh oh okay no I'm the opposite here and Nisi's proof of I'm it. I'm so glad that I could could be there for you on that day in that way and I will tell you I am my sister's keeper mm. you know yeah. what I mean I'm not, I, I mean because what I do, you know, my job is to be an actor, but my who is to be of service in the world. And you, were, you, you were of great service that day. And so subsequently when you booked it and I saw you on there, I just thought, well, that makes absolute sense. <laughs> A lot of us, we didn't get into this career because we thought, oh, I want all people to look at me. But I think we're like, how do we want to reflect humanity? And I think you two are like shining stars in that way. And I think that's why you're so successful in what you do and why people um, flock to you and always just say, please do that. You're making them feel something. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice for us to have a little show and tell. Show me yours, I'll show you mine. Okay, I know. <laughs> Not your bits, but <laughs> Mo. All right, when I was a kid, I always loved show and tell. And uh, I think that tells a lot about a person. I thought it'd be fun to do. So uh, let's start with Mo. Would you want to give us a little show and tell? I collect heart-shaped rocks. <laughs> so I just brought one to show. This one is just real pretty. It's almost like multiple hearts in one. And I love them because I love, and I can never go looking for them. They don't show up. What about you, Nisi? I got this for my children. I made a, a photo album. I don't know if yeah. you can see them on it. Yeah. Okay, so I made this photo album full of like different things that happened within the last mm -hmm. year. This moment right here was one of my favorites because that's when I got my star on the Hollywood. I was right Walker there, Day. yes. Oh, I yes. was there on that beautiful and day. And that was such a special, special moment in my life. Coleman, do you have something? Since you showed me yours, I'll show you mine. Since people are always wondering, why is my handle King of Bingo? Well, it's because I was in a movie in like 1998 called King of the Bingo Game. Oh. It was an uh, adaptation of a Ralph Ellison story, short story. And so I, this is a, the bingo card actually from the movie and I was the King of Bingo. And so I keep this card. Oh, there we go. go, I keep this card because I feel like it's a, a good, little good luck charm. If you read the short story that Ralph Ellison does, about, you know, it's about a, a young guy who's down on his luck but he's risking everything to win. Oh. So I guess that. Good. And uh, so, and everyone out there, please, 
please, I want to see your show and tell. Um, you just do it on the YouTube comments, okay? I would love to know what you, you have special. Just look around. There's always something special, okay? This is the part of brunch where I invite you to share some good news. The Humane Society of the United States and also ASPCA, you know, the guess what's happening, y'all? The shelters are emptying out. Some of them are empty because wow. people are are fostering and adopting pets. Now just please don't return them when you're done. It's so funny that you say that, Mo, because this is exactly what I was thinking about. The fact that they say that animals are walking the streets now, that they are out and about and living their best life. And yeah. I live in a and I live in a community that was ravaged by fires last year. Oh. And we had all kinds of wildlife here. And for the first time, I now have a tiny family of wild rabbits mm. that live in my backyard. Aww. They are spoiled because I do feed them organic carrots. Don't <laughs> judge me. Uh, but I want, them to eat, I want them to eat well on my property. <laughs> um, and they come in the evening at a specific time and we sit out. When I say we, them and me. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, beautiful. <laughs> that's some real good news, y'all. I want to end this brunch, you guys, with uh, Nisi, Mo. Thank you so much for joining me for brunch. I hope that you're staying healthy, staying safe, staying sane, staying connected to each other. I think hopefully, you know, during this, this time that we're finding that we're using technology like this to get closer, to not have us in our own yeah. little yeah. silos, but for us to get closer. So keep spreading the love. Thank you for this, Coleman. Yeah. Cheers to you and thank you for curating this special oh, time. Oh, you're so very welcome. Cheers, thank Coleman. Thank you, friends. Love you Love so you much. So we'll wonderful. Get to, we'll get Thank together you. for brunch Love soon, all right? All right, you guys. Be all well. right. Bye. Bye. Wasn't that fun? I told you, who doesn't love brunch? Especially with two women like Nisi Nash and Mo Collins. Follow them on social media. Get into all that they're getting into because they're really wonderful women. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again very soon. Maybe even next week as I bring on two more guests. We're going to have a lot more fun. We're going to make another cocktail, have a little food. Join me for brunch. Until then, take care, drink responsibly, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.